So in 2010, I started seeing the moon do a cartwheel. I knew we had turned onto our side. Last year, NASA admitted it. <laughs> I knew we were heading for a lockdown. I had been filming the dead corn and watching these <coughs> ultraviolet monitors at midnight catching Ra's tunic before I ever saw this. This came along. I had already seen everything on it. Four holes in the horse's box. Earth. Mars. Mercury and Venus. The blue sun. The red sun. And Earth. Our 1748 hertz magnetic field at work. Quite an amazing picture. Couldn't figure out how I could read it for a while. I realized they were doing this in an unchanging manner in physics. It's a magnet signature of a planet. That's one of the sun. According to ancient Egypt, they say they have the conical hat to distribute the creator's energy without exploding. That's what the little legend says. That's IMF line behind earth that's why you're getting all the activity behind earth this isn't something <coughs> I say lightly I reported it to Senator Jim Davis Republican North Carolina the guy who I wrote the Davis hemp bill for I used to advise senators and I legalize hemp and I had that kind of ear on these motherfuckers and found that the negotiations for your life had been already had. And there was no negotiating. They offered me the bunker, told me three quarters of the people got to go so that the numbers that exist right now can't get down into the bunkers when we realize what's going on. 180 nations in on it. Russia, China. U.S., Israel, all of these people get their money printed from the Crown Vatican, D.C. Corporation. Over here on BitChute, you'll find that a lot of this has been documented before it happened. Um, I was warning people of the Mark of the Beast. You don't understand what that is? I suggest you get over there and check it out. Because today, currently, we're seeing a lot of back pressure over here. As we're getting hit from the front, we're getting hit from the back. We're getting closer to a point that we're going to actually have to roll back behind this ultraviolet blue spectrum, black light sun named Ra, that we were carving on every stone, not rolling fast enough, and warning, not worship. We wrote these amazing things in physics so we'd understand them when we saw these things again. Well, we've seen these things again. You can go right here, go oldest first. And I'll show you why we're on fire. These are fires. This is the current fire map of our globe. Not your backyard. The globe. Swiss Alps, the Russian tundra, Siberia, all the islands down here across the globe and here we come around to your land uh oh it looks worse than it was this summer it is in your backyard you just ain't looking around I've been warning the same warning since 2014 when I stood down these people have no good in our interests. Ugh. This head keeps showing me things I hadn't seen. You do see the Egyptian king's name with the little feather here and the eye. And this thing's so detailed. It's crazy. <laughs> I hadn't seen that quite yet. 
There's so much on this thing. So many hieroglyphs on it. I need to get myself a high resolution because uh, it's really, really ornate. And I'm pretty sure we're looking at the blue sun with the planets on it that were there when Earth was on it because we have the onk and the crosses all around these central sun on the pattern around the sun. And then you have the square hieroglyph row above it. And it depends on what angle you're looking at, what story you're looking at. It's really, really ornate and amazing in person. I know the detail doesn't show up really well on the camera that I have. But you can see in the tooth, actually, there's an overlay of another solar plume that you can only see at a certain angle. This whole thing is way more ornate than I even thought it was. <laughs> but it looks like there's planet heaven and planet earth on this sun. And as we've read, the day we got trapped on this low energy sun is the day that heaven and earth were separated. Thus was heaven separated from earth and earth separated from heaven. There's some more cartouche Egyptian style hieroglyphs on the base of this because you can tell where the bottom jaw was broke off right here. It used to sit on this base. You can see the ornate. And where they cut it and what they did is they mixed this stuff this absolutely porous or non-porous I mean, and you can see the flower pattern in the matrix of this and it's been tested these are jade this is a blue jade Jessica's is all jade up on her property uh, painted turtle endeavors in Michigan She's got hundreds of the same one. She's taken them from here to there in Michigan. Had them looked at by geologists and archaeologists, and there's a lot of activity around the hole now. Um, <laughs> these things are spectacular. Mine, I chose one. It's the first one that I realized what it was, thanks to Jessica. Um freaking amazing snake effigy with amazing eye cartouches all over this damn thing. And the onks and the crosses and the feathers. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, if we had been wrong, this wouldn't be here. And neither would the 10-ton version of this be in Jessica's backyard times two at least. And there is at least a 50-footer on the other side of that pond. And they're all jade. And they're amazing matrix of jade. And if you can see the flower pattern, I found the sand that they were using to make the matrix. The uh, pudding stone is just like that. You see the little tiny flowers all the way through. This is the broken part of this amazing jade. They mixed it with mercury and that sand and the, the calcite, uh, the carbonate that was in that sand. And they hit it with a magnetron. As you know, metal with microwaves causes heat. So if you got the ingredients to jade... You can sure as fuck make it in any color you want, obviously. That's how they were making these monoliths. They say so in India. They were like, oh, the God come along, put in the magic water. Well, what? What is the magic water? They got rivers of mercury under all these things just by coincidence. No, that's the magic water. And then they shot it with a magnetron, obviously. 
This whole matrix is nothing but little flowers, and there's no air pockets in this. And that's how that pudding stone's made. Same shit, except it's like a green peridot in between those amazing gems inside of it. Like any other piezoelectric concrete would have been made. And I cut that in half, and we went over that in previous videos. So if you don't know what we're talking about over here, you really do need to get to the oldest videos I have and find out. <laughs>